Hey everybody, Shay Simpson back with you here. Welcome back uh, from Guitar at Work. And uh, I'm excited about this one. Talk about a campfire classic. This is John Mellencamp, John Cougar Mellencamp's uh, Jack and Diane. Always a popular request and it's just a song you gotta know. The cool thing is there's only three shapes. You only have to know three chord shapes and uh, we're just gonna be dragging them around. Um, I want to thank you for coming back, subscribing, the thumbs up have helped me immensely, I'll thank you for that again, and your comments, requests, suggestions, all that is, uh, is really helping out at this end, and it's very encouraging, I appreciate that very much. Um, so we're going to, let's go through this bit by bit, and I've got actually four pages for you here, I've got two pages with the actual song and the chords written above, I'll talk to you about that in a sec, and also two pages of details, which is going to give you the order that we play these chords in. Um, it's a song that, um, so head, sorry, head to Patreon dot com slash guitar at work patreon.com slash guitar at work grab those four pages two pages of song sheet and two pages of what i'm calling details here they'll all be in one one pdf um it's a it's a funny song in that uh you can't really just write the chord over top of the word or uh, over the top of the words uh, because the chords are always moving they always these these cool little i call them figures <laughs> A little bit of dialogue in there so it's not easy to just write a D or write an E because it's always traveling around. Uh, luckily it's all very similar. Once you get one or two figures under your belt it's just the hardest part is going to be remembering in what order to do it. So I've written that down play figure one here play figure two there and there's five figures but again they're very very similar. So grab those sheets and we'll jump right in. Uh, we're in standard tuning here, no capo. And um, I'll start out with um, the, the intro, which is always a good thing to do. Uh, the first shape you're gonna need here, this is, it, it looks like an F shape. Here's an F down here you may know and you may have struggled with. F, if I drag it up two frets, it's a G. If I drag it up two more frets, it's an A. There we go, so that is an A shape. It may not be the A that you're used to down here, but it is an A indeed and you'll use them lots. There we go. And you're going to find one X in there. We're trying to lay off the low E string. There we go. So that is your A that you're seeing. And I am currently looking at, just to direct you on the sheets here, I'm looking at figure one. Okay, I'm calling the intro as figure one. We're in a detail sheet, figure one. We're on this A shape. Good. Now the E, if you just look at the chord diagram, you might fumble around and try to find a fingering, but let me get you there really quickly. And this is really one of the only other chord shapes you need. I'm going to take that A shape. I'm going to drag it down one fret to my left. Drag the whole thing down one fret to my left. And then I'm going to take off the middle finger and bring him one toward the floor to the B string. And I'm going to lengthen that bar. So barring three, barring three strings there. Let's go back to the A. Here's your first chord, A. And I'm going to drag that one to my left, doink, and then I'm going to bring my middle finger down toward the floor, one string, and then I'm going to make that bar a little bit wider, so we've got three in there. So the idea is, why not on the A, why not start barring, why not bar three? Let's bar three strings on that. And you're, you would run across that eventually, instead of having to move that first. So there's my A, and this is the E we need. There we go. So figure one, starting again, here's A, which is your intro. And here's your E, it's going back to the A, just reverse the process, back to the E, and then down two frets, that's a D, exactly the same shape as the E was, now that is a D. Okay, so that was figure one, and then you're going to hear, of course, the characteristic of that open D string. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. That's just your open D. You need a little bit of speed on that, make sure you're picking down up, and also, rest your right hand. It'll just give you a little bit more control. Rest that right hand. So in time, slowly, figure one. Two, two, bam. And ba -da. and there we go. And um, so from there, we're taking, that's figure one, that's your intro, that's going to go three times. You'll see that in the song sheet. It's going to say uh, intro, figure one times three, right? So now we're in figure two is the verse, okay? Figure two is the verse. And this is where you get a nice bit of dialogue going. I'm going to go back to that A, figure two here. I'm going to go back to that A shape. Now add the pinky to the high string at the seventh fret. And you get that nice little melody in there. And now I'll take them off again. Okay, so that again, figure two so far, A, verse really. There it is again. I'm going to go down to that E. And then down to the D. Back up to the E. Now here, middle finger going to bust to get the high string. And then back it down it goes as normal. So let's do, here's figure two again. So slowly. D. E. And then middle finger. 
and then there you go. So we're just trying to get that little melody note in there. Now you have to bust your knuckle. If you're having trouble getting that shape, if your thumb is way up and over like that, you're gonna find you're really limiting your stretch, limiting, limiting your fingering for sure. Try to get that thumb way down low and come in from underneath. I think you'll find you've got the length for it. It's not that bad. Let's do figure two again. Here it comes, three, four, and a. D, E, bust that middle, repeat, sort of. Now this time, second time round, it just goes D, E, A. So here's figure two in its entirety right here. We're going E, D, E, bust the knuckle, A, E, and then D, E, A. And that really is your verse, what I'm calling figure two in there. Hey, you might shut tape off right there, shut her down right there. You may have to go uh, through that many times to get it. Uh, there's not a whole lot of movement required as you see. And just watch out for what I'll call a death grip. If you're really gripping that, it's hard to, to be moving around. I understand why you might be tempted to, to really have a death grip in the early stages because they're new shapes. But remember, uh, you don't have to hit that, you don't have to grip that too hard, right? Because it'll limit to, uh, how quickly you can move and how smoothly you can move along. Um, I'll jump into figure number three. It's kind of the interlude, you know, in between verses. Sometimes you'll hear this. That business there. Um, if we go back to, now here's the only other shape you need. Here's an A. Now there's many ways to play an A, as I'm sure you know. I'm gonna bar this. We're gonna need to bar it. I'm gonna bar the top four strings, your thinnest four. And that's an A. Now, it's hit, notice the high E is X'd out. That high E is X'd out. Try not to hit him with the right hand throughout this whole passage, figure number three. So there's my A. Now just put the ring finger on the fourth fret of the D, middle on the third fret of the B, and that's your D. So we've got this. So it's those two fingers going on. And boy, is that ever a popular move, not just in this song, but millions of others. So you may as well get that down. So that's really A, D, A. Now I'm gonna take that shape and drag it up two frets. And that's your E. Okay, again. A, D, A, up two. And you're gonna hear a slide in there, which is kind of cool, but don't let it, it's an ornament. Don't let it bog you down. It's more important you get this at first. If these shapes are new to you, get that first. Get it clean, and then this. That little slide is, yeah, it's sexy and everything, but it really bogs people down. Uh, get the basic thing and then treat that as an ornament, for sure. Here is figure number three again, slowly. A, D, A. I'm gonna slide up to that E. Back to the D. Back to the E. And when I get to that E, I'm gonna take the pinky to the sixth fret of that G string, on, off. Just a pinky, just grab them. Really just killing time, a little bit of an ornament there. Okay, here it is from the top again, figure number three. Three, four, and a. D, E, add the pinky. This time, A, D, A, E. And then D, D, E, A, at the end there. So figure three in real time, three, four, and a. That's it. So really, have you seen only three different three different shapes to worry about there uh, throughout the entire song? So that's encouraging. Again, I would say stop tape there. Get that going on. Get it going on. Come back and, uh, and piece it all together. You'll be able to piece all this together with the actual song sheet. It's going to tell you exactly how many times to play figure one, how many times to play figure two over top of the lyrics, etc. So that was figure three. And now figure four is the chorus. The chorus is very much the same as the verse, except... Um, it, uh, it repeats in funny little places. Let me do this for you. So here is, this is figure number four. Sorry, really it's the chorus. So here we go. A, here's your E, D, and there's your E, and then back to the A. He does that twice. And then, and here's your D, E, so figure three slowly, you know all these shapes, just the order that can be confusing compared to the verse. So here's figure th uh, figure number, where are we? Figure number four. This is the really the chorus. Here it is, three, four, and a. I may 
I've done it one too many times there. Sorry if I did. That was figure four. It's really just like the chorus. One last time here comes figure four, three, four, and a. That's figure four, um, again, which is your chorus. Uh, so stop tape there, do what you gotta do to get through that. See, if you know if you know figure two, uh, which is the verse section, you, are, you already know figure four, the chorus, because it's, it's all the same, it's just a matter of where does it repeat or where does it not resolve, right? Um, from there, it goes back to the intro riff, uh, which we already know. Uh, I'll bring you to the last figure. Figure five is all the way at the end of the song here, all the way at the end of the song. Um, it's a little ditty about Jack and Diane where he just really calms it down. It's almost like a breakdown. So we're going. Uh, it doesn't even do that. Sorry. And that's just before the big loud outro. So hey, those are all of our parts. And um, you're, if you're wondering where on earth we are in the song, remember, pay attention to where it says figure one, figure two. It's really verse chorus stuff. There's a bridge in the middle of the song that's just drums and no guitar involved. So you just sit that one out basically and wait for, wait for the main riff to come back in. Um, the outro, watch out for the outro, uh, although it is the same chords. This business here. Bow, 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 bow. It is the same chords, but they, they kind of change the rhythm a bit. I'm gonna go A, outro here. I say go A E A E A E G and then bow, bow, that that thing there. So A. That guy there, one more time. Outro slowly. Go to E early. And A B A E D. Open D. Bow, bow. All the way home. That's it. And you can get a bit strummy too, because remember they got the benefit of a whole band in there, so you might go. You might want to fluff it up a little bit just to keep the rhythm going on this guy for sure. Um, hey, so always uh, a heavy song for requests for sure. And I hope that uh, I hope that gets you through it. Three little chord shapes, uh, get get on it. And again, I'll, I'll uh, invite you to go to patreon.com slash guitar at work. I think it'll make this video will make a whole lot more sense if you've got the sheets. Figure one, figure, there's five different figures, but there's only three different chords. So it's, it's, it's fairly straight ahead. I'll wish you all the best with that. Thanks again. Thumbs up have meant the world to me at this end. I really appreciate it. Uh, lots of good stuff coming up for sure. And I appreciate you, uh, what do you call it? Subscribe and hit that uh, bell notification it tells you when new videos are coming uh, or have come out and uh, always like to see you down in the comments so send me requests ask questions and I uh, really enjoy it so we'll see you again soon have fun with this one one two mm -hmm.